ki khubor ka bate si tv lawan rashfi da ka frank motors booking open for the new nexon visit frank motors or call 7045207973 Joint Action Committee Janga Skolba North Eastern Hills University Kalas Dange ke jing ki non cooperation movement bidana po ka JSC ki kentho ek sang ki noh kai ke nehu ek bla tip kum ka North Eastern Hills University Teachers Association ka sang ki samla puli bla tip kum ka North Eastern Hills University Students Union bar ka sang jing ki nong tre ka nehu ka JSC ka pilong ek ni ke jing ki ban pin pao ka jing prasha you vice chancellor professor prabha shankar shukla namar ba um sngap ek jing dawa ka JSC ban wen kam no you rohit prasad na ka kam technical officer senior consultant ka JSC ka pilong da ka vigilance awareness halo ka phang pedeng jong ka jing bam sap ka pilong ru ek vigilance awareness halo ka phang pedeng ban prasha yaki kam bam sap
any contractual employee being paid VA or anything else. But nicely, probably this VA was in existence at that point of time Henry was appointed. There is one clause which is actually called Clause 11. And I will read it so that it's clear why we are so much hell-bent on his removal without any compromise. There will be no normalcy if he is not removed immediately. All other discussion can happen later. His removal later we want to see first. Then only there will be any discussion on any agenda. Well, let me read. After clause 6, if he goes to clause 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, the model UGC CRR rules, in the clause 11 it reads, and I will read it for you so that you know it's very clear. It says, procedure to be adopted for recruitment. Number one, issue of advertisement. The vacant post of permanent nature, comma, post approved under specific scheme of permanent nature, comma, the post of temporary nature under which Rohit has been appointed, tenure slash deputation post, etc., shall be advertised at an appropriate time, giving at least one insertion in any of the national dailies and one insertion in the university website. Further, the candidates may fill up the prescribed application forms along with the details of qualifications, experience, and other requirements as per the procedure to be prescribed by the university and submit the application duly completed in all respect, like everything else that we do here, along with the prescribed application fee, if any, within this stipulated time. Now, very interestingly, he thought, I don't know, sometimes I wonder, he is addressing whom? This university is not made up of junkies. Let it be very clear. People here are learned. All professors are not stupid. All the teaching staff are not stupid. Students are not stupid. And hence, when you make this kind of blatant lie, it only defeats the whole purpose. And that's where we have seen, and we have asked him, friendly speaking, you know, Nihutai, in the first EC that we met, we asked him point blank, how did you appointment appointed this guy? He said, no, I can do it. I said, no, you can't do it. No, he said, I can do it. I said, he said, no, I will do it. VC has the power. I said, under which rule? He could not say. The highest order possible. But we are not going to be violent because that is not what we have decided for now. So certainly, we are going to follow the non-cooperation movement in a very non-violent manner, ideally suited for a responsible association like Jack, which is comprising of the statutory bodies of Nehu, Nehuta, Nehunsa, and of course, the Nehusu. Well, the first issue, friends, if you look at the notification, is the immediate removal of Rohit Prasad. He has been appointed as technical officer slash senior consultant on contract. Now, this is very... Uh, I will not say interesting, but I will say it's very murky. Now we all know you can't just pick up anybody from the street and appoint him to be XYZ in the university. There are certain laid down procedures. And that is where I, I, I want to really emphasize today so that he's very clear. I know he has been telling all lies to students. He has been telling all lies everywhere and I'll prove it. When I make a statement, I'm not going to make a vague statement. I'll prove it right here how big a liar he has been of late. And this is important. Now, this guy has been appointed, we don't know how. He, and then one RDI has been filed by an esteemed member and he has received the reply. And the reply is, I will not go into the detail, other things are not required. When somebody asked him in the RDI, was there any selection, any advertisement floated? He said, no. Was there any selection committee members constituted? No. However, interview was conducted online by the vice chancellor under blah, blah, blah rule. And he has quoted, and he is trapped. I'll tell you why. He has quoted clause 6B of UGC model CRR, duly approved or adopted by 185th EC held on 11 10 22. Now, problem like all other problems that he have, he never reads the whole complete story. It's a 92-page document. He had only stopped at clause 6. Let me speak so that it's clear. If he has gone a little further, salary or recurring? He said recurring head. How can you pay somebody from recurring head? And that's why, look around. You have no street light. You have no roads that are motorable simply because all our money is getting somewhere else. Somebody is 
being paid 75,000 plus DA and very nicely he, even ha he has been given even a quarter using vicious discretionary power. Now this is where we are so angry that you misuse your power. Now very interestingly this is the, yeah, this is the, this is the, uh, uh, the, the reply that RTI, that he has given RTI. Now one more interesting thing, I don't know how many of you have gone through, there was a dossier that was prepared. I will not say who prepared, but they said, when they sent it to us, he said it was, we obtained it from public domain. And this was sent by registrar's email ID, although there's no signature. A reply to the dossier. And look at the interesting part now. When, you, when we have, when they try to reply the allegation number six, which is appointment of senior consultant, he says, a senior consultant was appointed on contractual basis for a period of one year with a lump sum wage of 75,040 rupees based on the approval of EC number and DA and no DA is paid to him apart from the consolidated wages. One RTI replies say 38% of DA as on July 2022 and the reply and very I sometimes, you know, we are getting all the ammunition because of somebody's ignorance. Well, very good. These are also written. It came from registrar's email ID, although he have not signed it. Who rules? You violate, you have no right to sit in the chair. And let this be very clear to the registrar in charge. Whoever comes, you are not here to, I need, I told J.N. Nayak at some point of time that you are not here to please or displease the VC. You have occupied the chair of registrar. Please discharge your duty as custodian of Nehu rules, acts, statutes, and ordinance, and so on and so forth. Similarly, I would request our esteemed member, Professor Joshi, that you are our esteemed Nehuta member. If you cannot discharge your duty as a neutral person following all rules and regulations, and you are there only as a rubber stamp to issue letters and all such documents in, in public domain using your email ID, then I would say you are actually now hand in glove with all misdeeds of this VC. And we don't want that to happen, and you are an esteemed colleague of ours. And hence, I would say that if you can't discharge your duty, please leave that chair. You are actually unnecessarily spoiling your name because you are an esteemed colleague. We respect you as a faculty member. Yeah. But sitting in registrar chair, if you start misusing your chair, you are now in the same boat with the VC. And we don't want, indeed this is the second instance that this acting registrar has done. In one of the meetings, he didn't record the minutes properly in Hassan this meeting, and I have pointed it out in Academy Council. This is the second associate professor, all non teaching staff in the EC, you have to follow. And before you do the selection committee, you have to advertise the post. Then you have to get the applicants. Then you have to make a screening committee. Then there will be a selection committee. Clear cut, laid down procedures are there how to constitute the screening committee how to constitute the selection committee, what will be the necessary quorum during the process of selection committee. And finally, once these recommendations are sealed in an envelope, it should be opened in the EC, and EC will approve it based on what selection committee has recommended. And that's why this VC is trying to hide behind resolutions of EC, which very sadly I must say, if at all, EC members have sided with him on this issue, I think time to undo what wrong you have done. Again, EC members are, most of them are ST members. If you have done it, you have done it wrong. EC has no power to take anybody from the street and appoint him as XYZ in the university. You have to follow laid down procedure. And that's why it is important for all of us to understand that how blatantly he has misused his power. And that's why there will be no negotiation which Jack unless we see the termination letter of Rohit Prasad and it has to happen next few hours, next few days. Otherwise, nothing will be normal in this university except taking our classes. That has to be very, very clear and we make it very, very clear that we are here not to gain anything personally. This is not my home's fight. This is the fighting for our university. This is the fighting for Nehu. We have never seen, like I said, we have never seen a VC who can so blatantly violate the rules, which are so, and, and mind you, Nehu has not been formed say two years back when he joined in, or maybe six years back when Srivastava was here. Nehu has completed 50 years of, and in 50 years, we are still confused 
how to appoint somebody? I think this is a joke to the chair of the VC. I think he is making mockery of that chair. That chair has been given to discharge his duty as a VC to make sure that all stakeholders rise up. He takes the university to a greater height. But his conduct so far has been to take us to drain. And unless we act now, it will be too late for us to recover whatever little is left from in this university, friends. Like I said, we are all stakeholders. VC will come and go. How does it matter to us? We have seen earlier VC. We will see many more VCs in this university. But this university is ours. Each day is the brand name of Nehu States. Your kids, your brother and sister, my kids, everybody's kids might, if you don't move out of this state, you will invariably go for higher studies in this university. And that's why how we shape the future of this university is in our hands. All research work. Now, who will compensate? Will this VC and his administration, Stuomoto, do compensation of six months to all research scholars? Because tomorrow, when they complete their term of seven years or six years, they will say, no, you are out of time. You could not complete your experiment. It's not our headache. Students, mind you, research scholar and of course the master students and of the UG students, this is such a serious problem which is going to affect you directly. Frankly speaking, whether your, 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 your how do you progress may not matter much to us directly, but indirectly it affects us. Particularly if you are running a project, if you are running a department where you need to purchase chemicals, and this is, and our, our budget can range from somewhere from few lakhs to 16, 17 lakhs per department. Till date, we are not able to buy. When will we get a login ID password? When, did, when will we start the process of your procurement? And by the time February comes, they will say, please settle the bill, because in March, we are too busy to settle your bills. Now, this is such a problem. And very interestingly, it is nothing new. Indeed, from 2017, universities have been asked to do all purchases through JAM, and it is the duty of university to activate it. I don't know what is so rocket science in JAM portal, that till today we cannot get login ID password. I mean, people have reached Mars and Moon and everywhere else. We are still looking at how to, we have purchased of Amazon from Flipkart. I don't get where are we? Are we a university we started yesterday that we don't know how to function? This is where I feel bad, friends, you know. It is such a demeaning for Nehu that people laugh when they come that your university can't even do activation of gem portal and hence everything is a standstill. Not only that, even the purchase of medicines. Initially, VCs have been like, today if you go to clinic, you will not get any medicine. Why? Because this VC said, first you buy from gem portal. Now look at this. This is ignorance to the highest order. Medicine cannot be purchased by gem portal because they don't have all the medicines. <laughs> right? It took them long, long time, several months, when somebody from Nigrims came, he came here and said, we cannot buy from gem portal. Till such time, VC and his company thought we can buy medicine from Jam Portal. <laughs> and hence, got delayed. We have no medicine whatsoever. Yes, there's no harm. You know, for teachers and non teaching staff, we do get salary. Quite handsome salary, I would say. And we can buy medicine and claim back. But what about students? If you fall sick today in the hostel, if you fall sick as a research scholar, what will happen to you? And that's where I think probably the VC didn't understand. That this university is not only meant for teaching, we are actually meant for students. If students are there, teachers are there. If teachers are there, non teaching staff are there to give us the helping hand. All three entities are so important. But my the student, university don't exist. And that's why I think it's such an important issue. But somehow, this VC doesn't find this as a priority agenda. Who will reply? We will see how much precious money of new has been used in TADA. Whereas, what did we got in return? Because I remember, previous VC will go to Delhi, they will bring 100 crore. They will spend 100 crore making cluster classroom, community hall, indoor stadium, go back to Delhi, give the UC, give me another 200 crore. Take, build, this is how this infrastructure has been created. But now, every little money that we have is being drained in paying somebody who is, I don't know, uncle, uh, I don't know, Chacha Bhatija or someone, I don't know, whom he has just brought here. And that's why it is important that we really put this to a stop. So friends, this is such an important agenda and that's why we put it on priority for the Jack to address it.